Pronto. Yalla. Rapido. I got time for a quickie. Big shout out to Vox Cinema's Qatar. They legit have the best theater in the country at Doha Festival City. And make sure you're following them on social media at Vox Cinema's Qatar. Now on with the review. The Gentleman is a 2020 action comedy written and directed by Guy Ritchie. It was shot by Alan Stewart, cut by James Herbert, with music by Christopher Benstead. It's 113 minutes long and is rated R. It stars Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Michelle Dockery, Colin Farrell, Henry Golding, Hugh Grant, and many, many more. On the surface, the story's pretty simple. An American expat drug lord is looking to sell his UK-based pot empire. But to do that, he has to find a buyer and get through a bunch of potentially deadly obstacles first. Right away, the movie does not start how you would expect it at all. It definitely ushers in Guy Ritchie's return to gangster movies with a bang and a super cool intro. Right away, you're going to notice this amazing ensemble cast. Guy Ritchie's always been good at putting the right people together, but this time he takes it to a whole nother level with a really eclectic mix. All the dialogue is really clever and delivered with that signature Guy Ritchie staccato execution. Normally, I'm not a fan of when movies or television shows get meta, but the storytelling device that they did in this movie, using different cinematic tropes, is really effective and it makes the exposition fun. Something else that's fun and vibrant is the set and costume design. Everybody's outfits and their surroundings really represent their characters. The dialogue's not the only thing that is rapid in this movie. There's a lot of fast cuts, but they pad them out with fun, snappy, interesting, detailed close-ups. Given the fact that there are a lot of characters and a lot of storylines, you would think that it would be hard to pull them together. But Guy Ritchie takes all these threads and weaves a really interesting yarn. One of the elements that they use a lot is the old school characters versus the new school characters. A lot of movies really fail at using this like Bad Boys for Life, but this movie uses it effectively. It was a little strange to see Matthew McConaughey, who's always chill, get gangster as hell. There's a lot going on with his character. He's super layered, he's intelligent, he's fun. He's not often violent, but when he is, he is very violent and it's so fun to watch. While the visuals and performances do kick ass, the music is just as sweet. Whether it's the stuff that was made for the original score or the licensed music, everything goes together really well and adds a lot of style and flair and fun to the movie. While there are a lot of times where you'll see something coming, you know, you'll kind of figure it out before it happens, there's a ton of unpredictable stuff that really keeps you on your toes. I love a good mature story full of foul language that doesn't treat the audience like idiots. It treats them like grown-ups. Now, I've heard some people talk about how the way that the story is told, how it goes back and forth between the past and the present, can be a bit confusing, and I've also heard people complain about the length or the pacing of the movie, but I honestly didn't feel that at all. I think it's paced really well. While the movie for the most part is pretty bright aesthetically, there are a few parts that were dark and hard to see. And that was in a blacked out theater, so when you watch it on Blu-ray, make sure you have the lights out. Now, I was going to give this movie a much higher score, but unfortunately, when I saw it in the theaters, there were 15 cuts, and 11 of those cuts happened in one scene. There's an amazing scene where Charlie Hunnam is kind of commanding the room, the best one that I've seen since probably Samuel Jackson in Pulp Fiction. You really want to see what's going to happen, you really want to see what he's going to say. It's Charlie Hunnam's best performance by far, even better than Sons of Anarchy. But the problem with this scene was every time I got into it and started to get interested again, there was another cut for censorship, which is really frustrating because there was no nudity. So they're cutting out things that he is saying, which should not be happening. Like I said, 15 cuts in this movie, 11 of them in one scene. I'm an adult. I know it's a rated R movie. I know it's a Guy Ritchie film. So I know what I'm getting when I go to that theater. I'm going to get a bunch of foul language. I'm going to get violence. I'm going to get debauchery. I'm going to get all those things that you should be able to see in a rated R movie. Foul language should not be be cut. We are adults. Let us enjoy it. Can you still enjoy the movie with the censorship? Yes, you can, but it's not going to be as good. So I was right on the precipice of not recommending seeing it in theaters, but it is good enough. It's intact enough that you can go and see it and enjoy it, but it's definitely something you're going to want to watch again on Blu-ray. All in all, I love the ruthless violence with all the twists and turns. If you love gangster flicks, you're going to love this. If you love Guy Ritchie movies, you're really, really going to love this. So with all that being said, what is my score? Drum roll, please. Eight out of ten. <laughs>